Hi, my name is Ye Hung Chen. I'm with the University of California, San Francisco, Global Health Sciences. In this video, I'll be showing you how to obtain stratified estimates from Respondent Driven Sampling, or RDS data, using the software program Respondent Driven Sampling Analysis Tool, or RDSAT. This video is part of a series on analyzing behavioral surveillance data from surveys that use time location sampling, or Respondent Driven Sampling. Stratified estimation is a form of bivariate analysis. It is the estimation of the percent of people in a subpopulation belonging to a certain group of interest. Notice that stratified estimation looks at subpopulations, not populations of interest. In this example, we'll be using the same data set we used in our last video to estimate the prevalence of HIV among homeless people who inject drugs. To start, you'll need to open the data file we created in our last video. Select Open New RDS and browse to the .rds file. To verify that the data file was opened successfully, check to see that the file name shown here is correct and that the variable names appear in the box labeled Data Included. Let's look at the data. Select Edit Data. The variable for homelessness in this data set is called Homeless. That's our stratifying variable. In other words, it's the variable that defines the subpopulations that we're interested in, those who were homeless at the time of the survey and those who were not. Our outcome variable of interest is HIV and is called HIV in our data set. Let's close the window. Now select Analyze Partition. Select your stratifying variable, homeless, in the right arrow. Then select the outcome variable, HIV, select Analyze. Let's click on the Estimation tab. The estimates in the table at the bottom are not the stratified estimates. The groups shown here are defined by the two variables we selected for Analyze Partition. The groups are mutually exclusive and together represent all PWID. In other words, the denominator here is all PWID. For example, group 2 represents people who were homeless and HIV positive. This estimate, 27.1, is the estimated percent of all PWID who were homeless and HIV positive. It is not the estimated percent of homeless PWID who were HIV positive. To obtain the stratified estimates, we need to define the subpopulation of interest, or the denominator. To do this, select Analyze, Estimate Prevalence. We want to estimate the prevalence of HIV among homeless PWID, so our denominator should include all homeless PWID. In the Denominator section, select Select Group and select all groups that include homeless PWID in this case, group 1 and group 2. Now, in the numerator section, select homeless and HIV positive PWID, group 2. Select OK. A new tab labeled Ratio will now appear. The ratio composition table confirms the numerator and denominators we selected in the last window. The prevalence data table shows the estimated prevalence of HIV among homeless PWID. In other words, we estimate that the prevalence of HIV among homeless PWID is 44%, with a 95% confidence interval of 31.5% to 56.0%. Alright, let's walk through this process again. Let's estimate the prevalence of HIV among non-homeless PWID. Select Analyze, Estimate, Prevalence. This time, our denominator should include all non-homeless PWID. In the denominator section, select group 3 and 4. In the numerator section, select non-homeless and HIV positive PWID, group 4. In the new ratio tab, the ratio composition table again confirms the numerator and denominators we selected in the last window. In the prevalence data table, we estimate the prevalence of HIV among non-homeless PWID to be 22.9% with a 95% confidence interval that concludes our video on how to obtain stratified estimates from RDS data in RDSAT. Thanks for watching.